run through the general setup of MaxCut. Now, MaxCut doesn't store with default settings, but because different factories or different users have different machinery, etc., it's important that you set the user preferences so they match how your current operation works. The first thing you can see is we will get to the settings from the main window. If we go to Tools and then Options, it will bring up an Options form. Now we should see uh, five different sections right now. You will find that as the program is added to, more sections will appear. But the first one that I'm going to look at is the Mac sheet size. Uh, yeah, it simply asks for a sheet length and a sheet width. This would be the maximum bed size that your saw can handle. Um, the program also uses this to determine the ratio that it needs when it prints. So if your printouts are getting too small, if you make the sheet length and the sheet width smaller, the pieces will appear bigger. I'm going to set this to 2.5 by 1900. The measurements right now in millimeters. Uh, you'll also find that um, we have a minimum piece size. The minimum piece size is really just for the system to know the smallest piece that can be optimized. For instance, uh, you might have tolerances that uh, you don't want to work with regardless of whether it's been inputted. We're going to set that to 100 by 100 moles. And the third setting we're going to look at is blade thickness, which I'm going to default at 3 mils. You really don't need to worry about label settings. Uh, label printouts will come in a later release of MaxCut. Um, and then we have startup details. Now, startup details is quite useful. This would be the default settings that the optimizer takes when you make a new job. So instead of having to type out what melamine and your sheet length and your sheet width and whether it has a grain or not every time you make a new job, you can just set the default there and that will alleviate the need for um, having to repeat that each time. This covers the general settings. Uh, just one more notice for you to uh, be able to commit and save these settings, you need to click on the Save button. Clicking the X or the Cancel will obviously not save the settings and reset it back to the default. So I'm going to click Save there, and we should see now that um, those settings take place when you optimize. That's uh, all that we have for user options right now. Um, once you set your user options, you should be ready to start optimizing which we'll cover in a later segment.